Okay, so what's up guys, I'm Pitzel Sammy and welcome to this newest video. So in this particular video, I'm going to show a very simplified video editing software with which you can do some basic video editing for your normal needs, for your social media, for any kind of work whatsoever. And this is a very interesting one and I'm going to make a client social media video using this particular software. And this particular software is called the Wondershare Demo Creator. And yes, they are sponsoring this particular video but the sample or the social media video which i made for the client is totally a real one so this is how i did it let's go so once you download the demo creator which is there in the description below there is a free version and there is a paid version as well there is not much difference other than the watermark so it is pretty cheap and you can just get it up on the internet and just use it to make your video make a simple video so after you install this particular software you're going to open it and after you open it you're going to see this particular option and then just click on editor and then this particular window is going to appear after that it's pretty simple as you can see the interface is very similar to any other video editing software but it's totally simplified for a beginner and then after that what you need to do is just simply add the files which you want to do just click on this and add all the files you want to edit in this particular software just like this and I'm going to click on open. After that, I'm going to choose the song and then just simply drag and drop it onto the timeline. And as you can see, the timeline is a very similar one to any other video editing software. There is multiple tracks, obviously. And of course, there's a volume function and other functions on the right hand side. After that, what I'm going to basically do is I'm going to drag this particular video file, whichever I want to edit onto the timeline in a new track. And of course, I can do the basic cuttings, splitting of the videos, etc. And then just simply adjust all the files just like this. And then readjust them, reposition them so that it fits with the beat of the video. So after that, I'm going to just click on the blade tool and just split them. And as you know, I can obviously slow down the clips. So click on this. But before this, I'm going to place markers on the audio, which is very essential to keep the beats intact so that the beats match properly with the video. So just clicking on M is going to place the markers and I'm going to just keep the video at the ending right here, right around 18 second mark. So after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just reduce the speed of the video to 45% because it is a 60 FPS video. So it is very easy to slow it down. So I'm going to slow it down right here in the right hand panel. As you can see, it is pretty similar to Final Cut Pro also. I'm going to trim down all the extra portions just like this. Add the extra shots, add the other shots, add the other angles, etc. And then just make my sequence like I do in any other software. It is pretty simple, it is pretty handy, it is pretty beginner friendly. So you guys will know what you exactly have to do. After that, I'm going to just click on and make some proper, you know, dissolve transitions. Dissolve transitions are pretty simple to make. There is a button on the right hand side, on the right or left hand side of any particular audio or video. And then after that, you can just drag this particular slider and just create a very subtle and good cross dissolve effect. And this looks really good in any kind of video. After that, there are options such as overlays, captions, titles, etc. In overlays, there are some very good animated buttons or you know markers like this which you can place on your video if you guys want to as overlays or there are captions there are arrows there are banners etc which you can use in a videos just like this for this particular scenario i'm going to just use a caption and click on dining table you can of course change the size you can of course change the text the font etc it is totally up to you what you want to do with it after that it is pretty much done after this this particular small social media video is already made and then what i'm going to basically do is i'm going to click on export so in order to export the video go to the top hand side right here and then as you can see you can export in the proper frame rate proper bit rate encoder which is h.264 obviously i'm going to export it as a mp4 file and then click on export and then your video file is already ready to be used other than that, another feature which this particular demo creator has is that this particular demo creator also has a screen recording software which is very essential if you guys are an YouTube creator and it is very beginner friendly as well and it is super fast that is what it matters a lot. So with that being said, this is pretty much it guys. I hope you guys like this particular short, crisp demo creator video editor for your videos. 
One downside to this particular video creator is that there is no particular color correction panel. So you guys cannot just adjust colors that much easily in this particular area. But I feel that for so less price and so beginner friendly thing, this is just one bargain you can just have. With that being said, this is pretty much it guys. Subscribe to the channel if you guys like this particular video. With that being said, this is Pixel Sammy. We'll be back with another video soon. Peace out.